My dad and I are working on fixing uh, one of our farm tractors, and this is one of the drive, I guess it's drive axle for the front wheels. Uh, comes in, spins the hub, there's a planetary system. But anyways, there's supposed to be an oil seal that runs on this section. So as you can see, that's not a very good sealing surface. Um, so I've got it set up actually in the indexing head so I can get it in the right position to weld it. So I'm gonna try welding this and then turning it back down on the lathe. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So I've got the tin foil on there to hopefully keep some of the splatter off the chuck. Not that it matters a whole lot, but I'd rather not have splatter all over it. I'm going to get the welder set up and then we'll see what the beads come out like. A couple of beads done, got those. And then I've got the ones on this side. So I've been alternating sides to stop things from moving. So here's the welded piece. It mostly seemed like it welded okay, except for one spot over here where uh, I tried to open up the shop door to let some of the smoke out because there was still oil on the inside and it the wind came in and blew the, the shielding gas away, so I've got a bit of a funny hole there. Um, so hopefully that's okay. We'll see what, what it's like after I machine it. Um, but this is really hot, so it's going to cool down, and then I'll get it cleaned up and chuck it up in the lathe and see if we can smooth it back out again. So we got the yoke welded up. This area was where I had um, the shielding gas gone, so I had to grind that out and re-weld it. Unfortunately, this setup won't work because this is not indexable left to right. It'll, it'll twist in the four jaw chuck. So I need to put a center in this side. This drive shaft goes over to the center, but that's way too long to have any effect on how this runs. I can wobble that all around and it doesn't change down here. So I'm gonna need to make a plug which goes in the end of this yoke so I can bring the center down and have it actually do something down on this end. So I'm gonna work on that. So I'm gonna just leave this chucked up because it's pretty close now and then um, put the three jaw chuck in. So that's what I'm gonna work on. The plan is that I'm gonna machine a slug that's gonna fit down in this hole. Um, and then I'm going to put a center in that so I can hold this from, from twisting in the chuck. Because I don't really quite trust the setup with the yokes mounted in. It'll twist it okay and hold that end from moving, but um, anyways, it, it's not the greatest. And also, how do you ever line it up straight? So, I've got the little snap gauge and measure that Let's back up. Let's see. Yeah, 241 and a little bit. I'm not concerned about the tenths, so go for 241. I got my piece all picked out. I need to face it and turn it down, and then I'm going to get a measurement and figure out how much I need to take off to have it fit.
Now I've got that turned down face, so those should be all nice and true. Um, need to mic this, see where I am, where I'm at, and see how much I need to take off to get down to 241. Well, that was lucky. I'm reading now. Just a little bit under 241. So I took off. This was closer in size than what I thought it was. So <laughs> that was pure luck. So now I need to make this actually fit down inside. So I need to, I could cut it off and just put it in, but I think rather than doing that, since it's so short, I'm just gonna turn down this back side. And it doesn't have to be concentric with this side, it just needs to be small enough to fit in. So, there we go. So that, fits down in there. See, I don't think it does fit. There is a slight, you probably can't see it, but there's a gouge in the inside of here, which I'm not sure what it was caused by. Um, but I'm gonna try to smooth that out before I stuff this down in and I can't get it out again. I got this thing to fit pretty well. I was a still catches a little bit. I was a little, or I am a little concerned about getting it back out again, but then I realized that the other one is different. It's a different size, and I can just drill this and put a bolt in it and pull it out because this doesn't really have any other use. The chances that I get lucky enough to have another thing that I need to use this exact size center plug for are uh, pretty slim. So I'm just going to put that in, check this back up, put the center in, um, and re-zero this and hopefully it all works out. So, <laughs> there we have it. Now that plug's pushed in. I am going to have to put a bolt in that thing to pull it out, but yeah, we'll see. So now I need to go through the tedious task of zeroing this in. I think I've got it running about as true as I'm going to get. Um, yeah, it, it did. What I noticed was when I put it in, um, I checked this and I was way off. Like after I put the insert in, I had to sort of push it in with the, with the center. So, and since we had this running true, the chuck shouldn't have been off that much taking it out and putting it back in again. Uh, but this was out a few thousands here. So, but now, See, it's running pretty good. There's a little... little bump right there, a little funny. A little funny. Well, that's the splatter. I should have... What we should have done was wrap this with something or oh, yeah. use your anti-splatter spray or yeah, something. That's right. Yeah. That would have been... Or, yeah, or take that nozzle dip and smear it on there. Yeah. yeah, it looks like we're smaller on that side. Where we it welded. Way down, right in there, it drops way down. Yeah. And those are bumps. Uh, but yeah, the whole, it's 
pretty good. I think that that it's going to be as good as we're going to get. Yeah. So it's coming out pretty good. Cutting most of the way along now. Uh, still have a ways to go for the weld, but let's see. It's a new day. I'm working on getting the universal joint welded and polished down. But there's a couple of little spots that need a, a, touch up, a touch up weld. So I'm going to go ahead and run a, a TIG bead along there. That should be probably the best way of getting a good bead in that area. I could MIG it again, but starting with a MIG you can sometimes get a cold start and then I'd end up with a new pit, so I'm going to TIG weld that. I probably did a bit more than what I needed to, but that's what I have, so I'm going to turn those off, or turn it down, and uh, See how it comes out this time. Well, it didn't come out half bad after I sanded it. Um, there's still a little roughness where I went from having welded to not welded, but I don't want to turn this down and didn't want to weld the whole thing. So, yeah, that's pretty good. A few oily fingerprints. There's still a few pits along in here. That's that darn place that um, the wind blew away the shielding gas. So feeling I could keep going forever. I just need to take even more off, completely re-weld it uh, to get those to completely disappear. But I think, well it's a heck of a lot better than what it was. It's all the, used to be just completely pits up to there. So, and it didn't appear to be leaking then, so it's certainly better than it was. And yeah, so this was my first time trying to weld and then remachine something. So, for a first shot, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'll still need to clean up these edges here and stuff, but I can just do that with a die grinder. Um, well, it didn't come out half bad after I sanded it. Um, 
there's still a little roughness where I went from having welded to not welded, but I don't want to turn this down and didn't want to weld the whole thing. So yeah, that's pretty good. A few oily fingerprints. There's still a few pits along in here. That's that darn place that um, the wind blew away the shielding gas. So the feeling I could keep going forever. I just need to take even more off, completely re-weld it. Uh, to get those to completely disappear, but I think well, it's a heck of a lot better than what it was. It's all the used to be just completely pits up to there. So, and it didn't appear to be leaking then, so it's certainly better than it was. And yeah, so this was my first time trying to weld and then remachine something. So, for a first shot, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'll still need to clean up these edges here and stuff, but I can just do that with a die grinder. Um.